Logan Jean. Here's an alligator hide caught by a good friend of mine. We're gonna show you how to tan the hide. It's been skinned out, and we're gonna take it out of the bag and see what kind of condition it's in. Alligator's still frozen. I'm gonna get the rest of that off. Scrape some of this excess meat out and start preserving it with some chemicals. Okay, the gator's thawed out a little more now, so we can see what we got. There's still a lot of meat left on the skin, as you can see. The legs are still attached, so we're gonna have to skin it out around the legs, all the way down the tail, and remove every little piece of meat off this whole alligator before we can start the chemical process. There's actually a couple ways we can remove the meat from the alligator. We can use a scalpel and cut some of the meat away with the heavy tendons. And it cuts off the meat real well and gets through to the deep stuff. Or we can use a scraper and get off some of that excess meat and just scraping the skin and pulling the meat right off. We're gonna work on cleaning up this hide for the next few hours and getting this alligator ready for the chemical process, which is then going to make this raw hide turn into a nice piece of tan leather. Okay, we got most of their meat removed from inside the head and from the rest of the body, so now it's time to salt down the hide. We're gonna use a lot of salt, rub it all into every crack and crevice of the whole hide, and let that sit for two or three days. Tanning is the process of turning a protein skin into a non-protein state. Approximately 30% of the skin is tannable. The rest of the skin must be removed by processes of salting, degreasing, or pickling. So now we're gonna mix up our pickle bath. Pickle bath has consisted of 16 ounces of salt per gallon of water and two ounces of formic acid per gallon of water. And now we're gonna take our skin out of the salt and put it in the pickle bath. As you can see, the salt's taken a lot of moisture out of the skin and a lot of the non-tannable proteins and left us more with the tannable proteins so we can drop it down our pickle bath and make this hide look good. We're gonna leave the hide in here for about 48 hours, let it soak, and then put it in the tanning process. All right, it's been in the pickle about two days. We're gonna take it out now, and the next step is to degrease it. We're gonna use a very strong taxidermy degreaser called Dawn Dishwashing Liquid. We're gonna put a good bit of this in some warm water, let it set up nice and good, and let the gator soak in there for about an hour. Draw the greasers out of the hide. All right, it's been degreased for about an hour now. So the next step is gonna to be to tan the hide. We got Paratan, which is a synthetic tan with a little bit of salt mixture in a five gallon bucket. So now we're gonna go ahead and drop the hide down in there and let it soak for about 24 hours. All right, it's been in the tan for about 24 hours now. We're gonna hang it up, let it drip dry. Because it's been in the solution for more than 24 hours, it's considered leather now. All right, now that the tanning's done and we've let them drip dry, we're gonna lay the hide out on a piece of wood, stretch out the skin, tack, out, tack down the edges, and make sure that when the, when the hide dries, that it stays nice flat and doesn't crinkle up. So that's it. That's all the steps to tanning an alligator hide, deer hide, or any kind of hide for that matter. We just gotta let it dry out a little bit more, apply some oil to the skin, keep it nice, soft, keep flexing it, make it pliable, and then it's ready to hang up on the wall.